Mr. Palmer, welcome to this interview. Goodbye. We'll see you later. Mr. Palmer! Palmer! Mr. Palmer! Palmer! Clyde! Oi! Clyde! Sit back there! Clyde! Clyde! That's Clyde. Okay. Sit down, Clyde. Yes, we're not having any of that today. Now, Clyde. No, Clyde. Stay. Good, good, Clyde. <sighs> Sorry about this. Um, Mr. Palmer, if you were to become Australian pro. Clyde! Mr. Palmer. If you were to become Australian Prime Minister, what could we expect from you? Reductions in gas and electricity. Yeah, that's not a good idea, Mr Palmer, because if you were to go up to the Australian people, provided they didn't run away in the meantime, terrified of you, but if you were to go up to them and uh, ask them whether it was in their best interests to live, I think most of them would say yes. So. So how, with the reductions in gas and electricity, are you going to enable the Australian people to live? Gas. What? You're going to gas the Australian people? No. But that's what you've just said. Hold on, hold on, I never said that. Well, yes you did. You said it just ten seconds ago. Well, it's just not true. Well, well yes, it, it is true. Uh, you said it just, just just a few seconds ago. I mean, what could I have possibly said that's not true? Well, everything you've just said, you know, everything you've just said is not true. You know, I just want to make it absolutely clear to you. There are no cases against me. There's no proceedings against me in any way. And there's no, there's no suggestion I've done anything wrong. How on earth can you say there's no suggestion you've done anything wrong when you've practically just planned to gas Australia? This is just a beat up by the Chinese that don't want to pay for our iron ore, that want to take over our ports, use their lobbyists, flash their money around because they're a state-owned company, and subvert Australian democracy. All right, Mr Palmer, I'm not Chinese. I mentioned nothing about iron ore, and now I know you've really gone insane when you say something as crazy as Australia being a democracy. I mean, seriously, Mr Palmer, you did say that you were going to gas the Australian people. Bullshit. Well, don't you use that f***ing language with me, Clive. Now, you did say it. I, I'm not discussing it with you any further, madam. It's subject to, due to, it's subject to court proceedings. Palmer, ah. don't call me madam. I am not a woman, all right? I am not a woman. Got that? Okay, good. Now, changing the subject a little. Uh, who... If, if you become Prime Minister and your policies come into force, who will receive the reductions in the electricity and gas? Single mums and dads and also the uh, pensioners and other people will get the uh, a reduction in the electricity. You can't do that, Clive! Discussion with me outside. Ooh, I've got to have a discussion with you outside, do I? Oh, well, what are you going to do to me, Mr Palmer? Sit on me? Punch you or something. No, you wouldn't do something like that to me, I expect. A, a sort of simultaneous onslaught from all of our senators. Mr Palmer, you have one senator, so you're not exactly putting forward much of an aggressive political message. But anyway, I'm going to change the subject, because if I don't, I feel I may die. But so, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to throw it over to you for this one, uh, Mr Palmer. What do you want to talk about? What do you think that you can talk about um, that, that will bring the Australian people along with you and help them agree with and understand and respect your, your policy ambition and, and your attempts to become the Prime Minister of Australia? Monopoly. Monopoly? Okay, I've, uh, I've just received word from my producer to never ever, ever speak to you again, but, but I'm actually going to, but I, I will, I will, obviously, change, change the sub subject again, because I'm going to get nowhere with that. I think you've actually gone insane, but um, uh, I'm going to be more practical in my approach with you. So, Mr Palmer, if you do become Prime Minister, <laughs> um, what, what will be your first act? Dessert. 
Of course, you're going to eat dessert. Dessert the Australian people? That's not good, Mr Palmer. I, I, I don't think many Australians will be happy when they find out the news that their newly elected Prime Minister has just left the country the day after being elected. The community thinks they're going to get it and we're going to make sure they do it. Well, we can only pray and hope that that's not a euphemism for anything. But anyway, uh, I hear you've been having some troubles with the government recently. They urged us to pass the carbon tax on the basis that they would attend to the matter in the House of Reps next week. I said no. You attend to it in the House of Reps next week. Uh, Mr Parr, I'm, I'm, I'm not sh quite sure that I understand. Uh, do, do you just, do you realise you, you just disagreed with something that the government said and your solution to it was to do the same thing that they originally said, thus not changing anything at all? Mr Palmer, who was to blame for your stupidity? Probably all the marching girls that support the Liberal Party. Mr Palmer, that's not a nice thing to say, and I think you owe a full apology to the members of and the supporters of the Marching Girls. For example, the ABC pays your wages. Uh, I, I have absolutely no f***ing idea what you're on about now, Clive. I, I, I didn't didn't even mention the ABC, and even if I did, even if your comment wasn't out of context, it's, it's simply not true. The ABC doesn't pay my wages, I earn good money. But, but anyway, let's talk about the ABC, because I hear if you were to become Prime Minister, the ABC does have a role to play in your new policies and legislation. Would you like to tell us more about that? The ABC buys your groceries. The ABC buys your groceries. Now, Palmer, I really don't think that's a good idea. I mean, what, what, what if people didn't like what the ABC was buying for them? I mean, I know I wouldn't like a box set of Antiques Roadshow arriving at my doorstep every week. So, so, so what would people do if, uh, if they didn't like what the ABC was buying for them? Um, they would have to pay to the government 250% of what they should have passed on. When you say passed on, well, what do you mean by that? Are you dying? Your wages. So if people don't like what the ABC is buying for them, they have to pay the government 250% of their wages. Now, I don't think that's very f fair, Mr Palmer. In fact, I think some people will want to be killing you right now. But, but surely some people can't afford 250% of their wages. So, so for those people, what would they have to pay the government? Six hundred million dollars. Mr Palmer, you need to seek psychiatric help now. You, you, six hundred million dollars is more than two hundred and fifty percent of somebody's wage. So if they, if, if people can't afford two hundred and fifty percent of their wage, you're actually asking them to pay more. So, so what, 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 why would you do that, Mr Palmer? How could you say to the Australian people that if you can't afford 250% of your wages, you have to pay $600 million. Why would you do that, Mr Palmer? Well, I never said that. That's it. I'm f***ing done. I cannot work under these conditions. Palmer, you're a maniac. Goodbye.